Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to talk about misconceptions about working online at least in the Philippines. Okay, so the first one that I always hear, especially from some relatives, are everyone who works online are English teachers. Okay, so it's not a bad idea or it's not actually a bad thing to be labeled as an English teacher. It's a very noble job. And depending on who your employer is, you can earn up to $20 an hour. But, you know, there are still a lot of people, at least in the Philippines, that doesn't understand what a freelancer is, what working online is. They don't understand it, so they don't like it. They have this perception that people are turning their cameras on and finding themselves a zaddy to give them monies and call it a day. A lot of people in the Philippines still doesn't know what that means. What does working online mean? A lot of people are ashamed that their kids are working online because it's not corporate and we dress like we're homeless people at least. Um, always in pajamas or tattered shirts. But yeah, those are one of those. Next one is money comes easy, please. Not unless you have magical powers that makes you have a lot of money. Money doesn't come easy in any job. Just like working your regular office job, you still have to work for it. Finding clients is easy. The question is, will they hire you? Just because you found them doesn't mean they want you in their team. You have to sell yourself. Like, really sell yourself. And these are like people that are used to like being frank and you should like be giving them straight answers and everything not like um, when you get interviewed in a Filipino company where it's very rigid and they ask a lot of flowery questions you have to be as transparent as you can be because they will be trusting you with with your business I mean their business sorry so it's difficult to find clients if you don't have an experience it's difficult to find a client that would pay you your worth. It's difficult to find a client, period. Especially now that the competition is very steep. Everyone like wants to work from home. Everyone wants to have more. And else they should. So like you really have to try harder. Also, sometimes you lose clients. and Or sometimes you lose clients within a day or within a week because they ran out of money to make their business function or make it work so it's not easy money doesn't come easy finding clients isn't easy finding a good client isn't easy but when you found you know a good client then maybe money would come easy Next one is working whenever you want to. So no, although there are clients that doesn't care what time you go to work as long as you finish all of the projects given to you and the entire eight hours. But that's not the case all of the time. Most of the time your clients would require you to work the same working hours as they are working. So if they are in the United States, you work whatever time zone they are in. Same goes when they're in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Dubai, etc. You just have to adjust like, constantly. Your sleeping hours, your waking hours, when you do things and stuff like that. Next one is that there's no chance of moving up when you work online. Or there's no career growth in being a freelancer. But you know what? You will only stop growing if you don't allow yourself to grow. I know a lot of people that have has grown so much from when they started to like where they are now. I'm definitely one of those people. The amazing thing about being a freelancer is that there are endless opportunities to learn. Granted that you'll be paying for a lot of them. But you get to learn to upskill to be better. You know, the more you upskill, the more skills you get, the more valuable you are. 
There are also a lot of clients that are willing to pay for courses so that you will move up in his or her company. Whatever it is, as time goes by, your company would also be needing someone for something. So you just have to like be that someone that can be used for something within inside, like within the company, so that you can stay there for a long time and have better pay. So if you're done being a general virtual assistant and you want to specialize into something, be a digital marketer expert for your company or for your client's company, or if you want, if the client wants you to like focus on video editing and they're willing to pay for it, then go for it. One of the most important things when you're working as a freelancer is your ability to communicate and talk to your client, tell them what you need, what you want, whatever it is that you need, like all depends on how you communicate with your client. You just have to tell them, let them know because they're not my readers. Nothing's permanent when you work online. I've heard a lot of people say this. Oh, oh, I'm just working online, you know. When you work online, it's not permanent. You can't have anything and stuff like that. But you know what? At the end of the day, nothing's permanent wherever you work. So, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. Big companies go bankrupt. Not always, but it does happen. So this is a sort of a like yes or no situation for me. There are definitely people that have been that like have found amazing clients, and they have been working with them for more than ten years, and they're they are already earning ten times from when they started. I definitely know someone who has worked with the same client for like eleven, twelve years. And, you know, you just have to make yourself indispensable. Make them know or make your client know that you are able to adapt, overcome, and improvise always. Be so reliable that your client can live without you. That's it for now. Let me know what other misconceptions you've heard about working freelance or working online. For sure, there are tons of them out there. Happy job hunting and thanks for watching. I hope you found value in this video.